Ladies and gentlemen, guess who's back? It's your boy, Moonshot Max, bringing you all this crypto content that you love. And on today's episode, I know you heard about the fall. I know you heard about the collapse. I know you heard about the bankruptcy of FTX. Man, how the hell you lose $32 billion, man? That is insane. But anyway, the rise of the animal farm, the fall of the drip price, what's going on in this crypto winter? Let's talk about it. You're gonna hit that like, you're gonna smash that subscribe, and we're gonna get straight into this video. All right, guys, what I say on this video is never ever financial advice. You're gonna have to do your own research. And the headline reads from the New York Post, FTX files for bankruptcy as CEO Sam Bankman Freed resigns in disgrace. Man, shame on you. How do you lose $31 billion in like 10 months? I don't know. I wish I had the chance to do that, but anyway, right? I want him to really feel sorry for what he did, but for some reason, I feel like that's not going to happen by the things he said. He said, I'm really sorry again that we ended up here. Well, when we make mistakes, I totally get it. We do feel sorry at times, but he said, hopefully things can find a way to recover. But I mean, how are things going to recover? How are you going to recover $31 billion, bro? Uh, but anyway, let's keep on reading. He said, hopefully this can bring some amount of transparency, trust, and governance to them. Trust? By you <laughs> spending $31 billion? This situation is going to bring trust? It's going to bring transparency? What is this guy smoking, bro? Yo, ultimately, hopefully, it can get better for customers. How is it going to get better for customers when they lost their money? I mean, these are not just people that have a lot of money, but these are people, everyday people that go to work, that work a lot of hours to make that income to invest it into these cryptos that you lost. If there are, if and when there are charges filed against FTX, Sam Bankman-Fried, his Caroline Ellison, the hedge fund manager, whatever, a lot of it may have to do with the concept that they took customer money from FTX and used it to plug holes in massive losses in the hedge fund Alameda that was being run by his either current and or former girlfriend, the 28-year-old Caroline Ellison. What do we know about the use of customer funds from here to over here? Because that is spectacularly illegal. Oh, yeah. That doesn't happen on Wall Street. That is a clear violation of security. Oh, we're not on Wall Street. We're in the Bahamas. <laughs> we're in the Bahamas. So what we know is that a lot of headlines passed uh, on this over the weekend, but essentially $10 billion in customer funds were transferred to Alameda. Now, both the Wall Street Journal and Reuters are reporting that. Reuters is also reporting that $1 to $2 billion of that customer money that was transferred to that trading house Alameda is just missing. They just don't know where it is. So that's a huge concern. And then we had reporting this weekend from the investigative team and our Kate Rooney, and they were looking at the fact that billions of dollars was being used on Alameda. So billions of dollars in FTX mm. customer money yes. is being traded on the Alameda uh, like through their uh, trading house. And so that's especially concerning. But anyway, that just tells me a whole lot about exchanges that I learned from a year ago. I always heard about stories about exchanges just falling, collapsing, and taking your money with them. And number one, guys, you should always get a what? You should always get a ledger because a ledger holds your crypto. Don't get suckered by these people that sell these virus infected ledgers. And then once you plug it into your MetaMask and input your seed phrase, then your wallet is compromised. No. Get it from the official website or get it for me personally. I got mine on bestbuy.com because I trust Best Buy. All right, so let me tell you a quick story. So last year, I invested about $250 into Shiba Inu. It was like the meme coin with all the rage. And I was like, I'm going to invest a little bit of money. But I knew based off of my experience, I shouldn't leave the Shiba Inu on an exchange. So I transferred it from Qcoin and I put it into my trust wallet. Then all of a sudden, Coinbase said, we are going to list Shiba Inu. So I knew the pump was coming. Yo, at that time, Shiba Inu pumped a 10X. That means whoever had $10,000 just had $100,000 now. Whoever had $5,000 now has $50,000. 
So my $250, my little 250 turned to $2,500. But because I had my Shiba Inu in my trust wallet, I was able to withdraw it. I cashed it out and I took my profits and ran. But the people that had their Shiba Inu on Coinbase, guess what Coinbase did? They froze their accounts. They froze everything. People could not withdraw. People could not sell their Shiba Inu. The exchange waited until that 10x pump went all the way back down to a 2x pump and then they opened the exchange back for the trading of Shiba Inu. Yo, shysty B, like, come on. Like, how are you going to do that? But of course, lesson learned to a lot of people because if the crypto is not in your wallet, it's not yours. If you don't hold the keys, it's not yours. We're in a crypto winter and a lot of people were betting on the fact it was going to come back and it would all be fine and no one would know about what happened in the meantime. You, you keep losing at the blackjack table. You have the fallacy that you're going to eventually win, so you keep doubling down because you think I'm going to win. You could you could lose forever. We'll see ultimately what happened here. So that's why these exchanges be going down when there's a 10x pump and you can't access your Shiba Inu or you can't access your Dogecoin or whatever coin you have because they don't want you taking out their money. But aren't they supposed to have all that money in the accounts anyway? Can't their exchange handle all those transactions? No, because they're taking your money without your permission and they're using it elsewhere. So if you don't have the keys again to your crypto, then technically the crypto belongs to them. And that's the problem with centralized exchanges. We need to find a different approach. We need to find a decentralized approach because there is one CEO, there is one dev, there is one person in DeFi that is building something great for the participants of the protocol. Let me introduce to you something very, very epic, and this is called the Animal Farm. So although we are in a crypto winter, we can see that the TVL of the Animal Farm is over $134 million. But why are people parking their money here? Why are other people just selling off like crazy and panic is happening and people are saying, I don't trust these exchanges, but here there's over $134 million because the animal farm is for the people. So we can see the super wealthy do not build and protect their wealth by selling their assets. They accumulate their wealth and then leverage and live off of the dividends. The animal farm embraces this financial power and places it back into the hands of the platform participants. All of our products utilize trusted models that allow users to take full responsibility of their personal finances. Animal Farm's main focus is lending and yield aggregation. So what am I talking about here? Let me go back to the site. Why are people parking their money here? Because you have the power in your hands. You see, the exchanges have your crypto and they use it for whatever purpose they have. But you have full control over your deposits. So let me go to the farms. So if you want to go to the farms right now, you want to deposit your drip slash BUSD, you want to deposit all these LP tokens here, you could withdraw it at any time. Of course, there's little taxes here and there that you have to pay. But as you can see, you have the power to withdraw it at any time. And the animal farm, Forex Shark, do not have the keys to take any of your crypto in this farm. The entire purpose of this animal farm is for you not to sell your assets and live off of the dividends. So what dividends are you talking about, Moonshot Max? I'm talking about the pig pen. So when you earn, right, the pigs token, you are able to deposit your pigs into the pig pen and you're going to get the BUSD dividends. Therefore, I don't need to sell any of my pigs. Also, if you earn dogs, you could stake it into the linear stake right here and you are going to earn BNB. BNB, you don't have to sell the dogs, you are gonna generate BNB and you can use that as you will. And you can unstake anytime you want, but of course, don't forget, there is a lot of mechanics that's working in here. Well, I think a lot of people would like to see Sam Bankman freed. Just come, you know, see, where, where are you? <laughs> you know, do you have an explanation? Yeah. No charges have been filed. Wait. What's going on? Yeah. And where the hell's the money? Right. That's it. Alrighty, guys, there you have it. I can't believe the FTX took all my money. 
man, did this ever happen before? Uh, yes, it did. But guys, we have to learn our lesson. Now we know about the animal farm. Don't forget, you don't have to sell none of your dogs or pigs. You can live off of those BNB and the BUSD dividends. And of course, guys, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like, smash that subscribe for your boy. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so when I drop a video, you don't miss a thing. This is your boy, Moonshot Max, taking you straight to the moon. I'm going to see you guys very, very soon. Peace out.